Hi guys, I'm here today with a Boxing Day haul. And if you don't know what Boxing Day is, it's the day after Christmas. Basically in the UK, we do sales shopping and we do it hard. It's kind of like Black Friday for America, but it's in the UK and most shops have mad sales and it's my favorite day of the entire year. So I thought I would show you everything that I picked up from the Boxing Day sales. A lot of this stuff should still be available, but if it's not, I'm really sorry. I'm really late to filming this, but I've been back in Sheffield and then I got ill, I got the flu, and it lasted almost two weeks. So I was gonna film this two weeks ago, but then I got ill. So I'm sorry about how late it is, but it's here now, and the first thing that I'm gonna show you is this top. This is from Urban Outfitters, and it's just a baseball tee, and it says the big apple on the front, and I really like this. I just think it'll look super cool when it's on, just with black skinny jeans, it'll look really cool, and maybe some Converse, just as like a lazy day option. And I'm pretty sure this was down to about 17 pounds. I just really like this. I got mine in a size L, and to be honest, it's not that big. Like, if they did it in an XL, I would have preferred it, because I kind of like these t-shirts to be a bit baggy, and this, to me, feels like a medium. Oh, I just looked at the tag and it says M slash L, so it's a medium slash large. It's definitely more of a medium. I would have liked it a little bit bigger, but I don't mind it kind of more straight cut either. So yeah, like this a lot. I may as well carry on the Urban Aptus theme. So I got two sets of these Firefly lights and I haven't tried these yet, but I've seen a lot of people use them. They're just little lights on a copper string. They did do silver ones and I kind of wish I got the silver ones now. I'm definitely more of a silver person than a copper one but I really like copper homeware, so that's why I got these copper ones, but I kind of wish I did get silver. But anyway, the little lights like extended onto the wire and you can just wrap the wire around whatever you want. And the battery operated, these are 10 pounds. I'm not sure how much I paid for them. Might have been 10 pounds, but I like them. The next thing I got definitely was 10 pounds because I've just taken the sticker off. And this is a little turtle makeup case. It's not a makeup case, what am I on about? It's like a jewellery pot, so you open its back and it's got this little dint in here. I thought this would be perfect to store earrings or rings. I'm probably going to use it for memory cards actually because I always lose mine and if I've got them in the turtle then I know where they are. This is just so cute though. I love it. Is this on? Yeah. The next thing I got was also from Urban Outfitters and this is a little cinema thing. I don't even know what this is called, but I really like this. I think I've seen the Michelax use this in the videos, and I just think it looks dead cool, so I thought I would buy one too. And I think this was around 30 pounds, but it's always gonna be in the background of my videos. And I've just finished filming a PLL video, which is why it says this. Should probably say Boxing Day haul, but I love this. And it just turns on and off at the side, if you can see that. And I think this is amazing. It's also from Urban Outfitters. So, moving on to other things, I treated myself to something very exciting. This is a Nintendo 3DS XL, and I decided to get the bigger one because I've got really bad eyesight, so I thought that it would just help me a lot if I got the bigger one. And this is from Amazon, and I actually got mine in pink, and I'm playing Animal Crossing right now. I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. How cute is this though? I've been playing this absolutely non-stop, and the reason why I got this might sound a bit stupid, to some of you, but if you work online, like if you're a YouTuber and you're watching this, you'll probably know how easy it is to get sucked into social media, and I kind of became one of them people who would just go on social media all the time. Like, I would update people if I, I was having a wee. I mean, I wouldn't, but it almost got to that. <laughs> and it was just getting ridiculous, and spending so much time on social media was making me so unhappy. Because you get a lot of hate comments, well, I do anyway, and when I'm on it all the time, I just read them all the time and it's just like, ugh. It just puts me in a really bad mood after a while and my mum could tell as well. In fact, I think all my friends can tell when I've been on social media a lot because I just get really down in the dumps and I got this as a distraction. So instead of picking my phone up, I pick this up or I pick my Kindle up, but most of the time it's been this because it entertains my brain a bit more. And honestly, I have been on social media like once a day. I'm not even kidding. Just to check things and to maybe tweet once or twice. Oh my God. I feel, I, feel, I honestly, <clears throat> why can't I talk? I honestly feel like a different person. I feel so much happier. And my happiness definitely does depend on social media. So this for me, has been such a massive impact in my life and it sounds ridiculous but 
It really, really has. So if you're a bit too addicted to the old Twitter and Instagram, I would say get yourself a Nintendo DS. I got this for about £109 and it was from Amazon. And the reason I got pink is because the white one was £80 more. Are you kidding me? So I just thought, I'll get the pink one. I like it anyway. And the games that I got to go with that are Super Mario Bros 2. And I've totally forgotten how you play this. I tried to play it the other day and failed miserably. So I need to reteach myself that. But I also got Animal Crossing and I love that game so much. I've called my town Rosewood and my character's called Aria. <laughs> She's really cute as well, she's got pink hair. Anyways, I got this on sale at Urban Outfitters and it's a keyboard cover and this is just a rainbow one and I've got one on my keyboard right now and it looks so good. It doesn't actually fit my new laptop which is so annoying because I downsized it and I didn't think of that when I bought this. It fits my iMac upstairs and it looks so cool so I'm just going to give this to somebody who's got a different laptop to me or they've got an iMac or whatever, I'll just give this to them. This is so cool though. I went a bit DVD crazy. Ah! So the first one that I got in HMV was down from $5.99 to $2.99, which is ridiculous because it's the best film ever. And this is Saving Mr. Banks. If I look on the back, it's all got five star reviews. It's honestly one of the best Disney films that's ever been made, ever. If you haven't seen this, you really, really should, but I think I've got a bit of an emotional attachment to it because my idol in life is Julie Andrews, if you didn't know that. Honestly, she's my biggest idol ever and she played Mary Poppins and this film is about the woman who wrote Mary Poppins and I just have such an emotional attachment to it. I think it's an amazing film. And I also treated myself to the Pretty Little Liars box set. <laughs> Now, I've already got season one and two, but I bought them on eBay about four years ago, and I don't know how legit they are. So I thought I would invest in this one. This was only $29.99, which I think is amazing because every season has 24 episodes. So it's like five whole days worth of footage. And normally just one of these seasons would be like 30 pounds. So to get all five is crazy. It's from HMV, love it. If you wanna get into Pretty Little Liars, I would recommend getting this, but also I would recommend getting Netflix. I think Net Netflix is like £6.99 a month or something and they have all six seasons on there so you wouldn't be missing one. This is not an ad. Some more clothing items that I've got is this jumper from Miss Selfridge. I think this is gorgeous. It's like a dusky rosy colour and I got this in a 12. It is actually really really oversized. I could have done with getting a size smaller or even two sizes smaller which is madness. Quite oversized but I love it anyway and I, I got this before Christmas actually but it's just been perfect to wear through winter and continuing that theme I also got a grey one and I got a navy one too but I don't know where that is right now. From the Topshop sale I got this six skirt. And this is actually from Rare London, but they stock it at Topshop. It's a skater skirt, so it's just got this little band here, and then it is sequin madness. How cool is that? This is like a little mini skirt, but I love this so much. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it definitely was in the sale, and I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to wear this. Another clothing item from Topshop that I got is this dress. Now this has got a plunging neckline at the front, and then on the sleeves, it's got cut out shoulders. I don't know what is wrong with me, I can't talk. Look at me using my own merch. <laughs> <coughs> so this is gonna be so hard to show and I don't wanna do a try on because I might actually wear this in like a get ready with me video sometime. It's got a plunging neckline, these kind of cut out shoulders, then floaty sleeves. And it's just a skater dress at the bottom. I think this is stunning and it'll look really nice with my new boobs and that's why I bought it. Not gonna lie. Ooh, this is exciting. This stuff has been packed away for weeks now. Since a few days after Boxing Day because I've been in Sheffield. So I just kind of packed it away because I knew I wouldn't film this video there. But this necklace is amazing. This looks so cool with my top right now. It's just got gold little prongs on and they look like hair clips. I think they actually are, you know. You could totally DIY this yourself. I think I paid like seven pounds for this, which is amazing. It's just a really nice statement necklace and I got it to wear with that dress because it's like a really low V. So I thought having a necklace there would look nice. Got that. I also got some shoes for Topshop and if you watch my videos you will know that I have kind of a weird shoe taste. You either love it or you hate it. Someone's texting me. It's Windlesham. 
I somehow manage to pick out the most gross shoes in a shop and I end up loving them. But they always end up being black, really, like black or white. And these ones are going to be such a love-hate. They're basically like this. And to me, they look like man's shoes. You know when, when men wear suits and then they wear shoes like this? But I absolutely love that style. I love the androgynous look. And I think these are so nice. It says that they were £65, but I did not pay that. I would have paid like £25 maximum for these. I can't see myself paying more for them. So yeah. I love these, they're like little elf shoes as well. They're so cute. A homeware thing that I got is this cushion. And this is from Argos, but it's actually from Habitat. They just have a section in Argos. And I got this when I was picking up the charger for my Nintendo DS, because the XL version doesn't come with a charger. How stupid is that? However, I also saw this cushion and I love it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's just got running hairs on and it looks really nice on my sofa. And the main thing that I bought in the Boxing Day sales was a KitchenAid and I actually got the baby pink one because it raises money for breast cancer and I have like a really strong relationship to cancer charities. That's not the right way to word it but you know what I mean. Basically both my nan and granddad had cancer. My nan actually overcame it. I think she had like cancer in her hand or something. I don't remember what my mum told me but she definitely did have it and then my granddad had bowel cancer I'm pretty sure that was a main factor to him passing away so I have a really strong like relationship to people who've been through cancer and anything that I can do to raise money towards it I like to do so I wasn't originally going to get the pink one I wanted the colour pistachio but then when I saw that this one rose rose raised money rose money oh, i can't even word this i don't know enough words when i saw that it made money for breast cancer charity i popped it straight in my basket and i decided to go for the pink one so that is what i got and i also got a glass bowl as well and i think overall i got about 200 pounds off it which is so good and i also bought my mum one for her birthday and she had the color cafe latte because she just likes like a nice creamy colour, so that's what she got. I'm actually kind of jealous of hers because hers has glitter in it and it sparkles when you turn lights on and mine doesn't. But mine went to the better cause, so there you go. That is the end of my Boxing Day slash Winter Sales haul. Let me know what your favourite thing was in this video in the comments. Oh my god, also, I got this jumper from Miss Selfridge. I know a lot of you guys will be asking about this jumper when you see it in this video. It's from, no it's not from Miss Selfridge, it's from French Connection. I love it, I think it goes really nicely with my hair. I am weirdly drawn to colours like this. I walked past it in the shop once and I left it and I was like, nah, I can't buy that, it's too bright and I'm massively in a black clothing phase right now. I'm like Candice on Project Runway season 14. However, I kept going into the shop and I kept seeing it and I was like, I cannot leave this alone. I think it was about £20 in the sale. And it's honestly so nice and I'm so happy that I got it. I'm always really drawn to highlighter shades. If you watch my old videos, I used to wear like bright orange jumpers and bright green jumpers. And I had this yellow top. Just seems to be a thing that I'm drawn to. But I really like it and I like how it goes with my hair. So that is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave me some video requests in the comments. And I will be sure to do some. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.